Well, this is the downside of this business model. What is it, Jack? Right. <laughs> and I don't have any trousers on, I've got shorts Out of on. nowhere, thunderstorm, everyone's panicking to clear up. I've got shorts on, no hood. Right, so if you remember last week we tried to get £8,000 worth of stock spending £2,000 and we failed on that challenge, didn't we? We didn't quite make it. Yeah. Um, we were about, um, I think about £1,800, £1,900 light. So yeah. this week we're going to try and go for £10,000 and see if we can do that spending £3,000, so £7,000 profit before fees. And we're going to try and hit four car boot sales this week, aren't we? Because yeah. Jack's still off school and we'll see whether we can do that. But it's going to be a real hard push, but I'm quite confident we can try and buy more items and just got to try a lot more bulk so we'll try and see what we can do eh? Yeah. Right so we're back from summer holidays and back in action and guess what back in the UK is what is it doing Jack? Horrible it's supposed to be summer. It's supposed to be summer and it is raining cats and dogs out there. So we're at the car boot sale in Romford, the first time we tried this one. And what did we do when we first got in? First got in, we looked. There was quite a lot of good stuff. It started raining. It started raining big time. But what did we do before that? Well, we did, we, we did, before that, we bought a whole stall. We bought a whole stall of Philips lights. Um, it was about the first or second stall I saw and it was a really good price. He wanted a pound each. It's probably... We need to have a proper stock table. There's probably 500 bulbs there. I paid 370 plus 50, so 420 pounds for the lot, which is, I think is a really good deal. They're looking like they're around seven to nine pounds each. So that's gonna be a phenomenal deal there. And um, then went on, I'd actually negotiated on a deal while I was on holiday. And that was for uh, 150 dog harnesses. Now easy dog harnesses, we bought and sold these before. I've got these for five pounds each, so 750 pounds there. A few other bits and pieces in the back of the van, we'll show you a bit later on. But it just shows you this weather changes so quickly and it's gridlock. We're just sat in the car park now waiting to leave because when the rain hits, everyone clears out at the same time. And uh, we probably should have left, but we managed to buy another 700 pounds worth of stuff with those harnesses, so it was worth doing. But uh, I'll just show you now how, how bad the traffic is trying to get off this field. Right, sun's back out, so we're tempting number two, aren't we, Jack? Yeah. Right, we're going in. Right, so this is what we picked up in about 40 minutes before the rain hit. Um, we got four of these Polaris uh, laptop bags. I bought those before. They were £10 each, sold for £26.99. Speed fits were £5 each, sold for £14.99. We spent £810 on 157, 160 leads. I can't remember what number it was, but £810. There is £3,000 worth of sales there before fees. Um, both of these key safes, they were £10 each, they sell for uh, £4.99, £26.99. The Pot of, Pot of Dreams, that was uh, £3, that sells for 11 Insanity was £3, but I think that might be counterfeit, so I'm not going to list that. Um, Bayliss and Harding, um, they were, that was £1.50, that sells for £11.50. Um, Plop Trumps and Top Trumps, they were £2, they'll be £20. And we... And we saw an incredible deal on a guy selling a load of Philips stuff, um, just obviously clearing out a store or something like that at the car boot sale. And it goes all the way around there. We paid £420 for that whole lot. And that sells for a well in excess of £3,000 for all of those, would you believe? But um, we're going to get all this off to Amazon today and uh, try and get these sold. And then the last few bits, Black & Decker, brand new in the box, um, that is a uh, cordless hoover. That was £20, sells for 80 This uh, PIR floodlight and uh, box is slightly tattered, so that probably gone to eBay. That was £15, that should sell for about 30 Weatherproof storm socket, that was £3, that sells for um, £11.99. So I've been determined to try and learn about fishing stuff and managed to pick up finally a rod and reel fly fishing by Grays, G. 
RXI is the make. I just simply looked it up on eBay. They sell for, I think, around £55 for the rod, about £50 for the reel. We paid £45 for those. Um, really cool Derby Police vintage badge. Um, absolutely love that. Uh, that was £15 and it's got a 55 for auction price now i think that's probably worth 30 and um, these this saw and marilyn monroe was 35 pounds for the two uh i think that's probably worth 50 on its own but i will probably keep them so i might take these out of the experiment and then finally jack's finally completed his what is it what's it called a mega mega so i haven't need i need one more i mean one Which more piece but we're into this for about I ended up having to buy the yellow one uh, on eBay because we just couldn't find it. And um, it meant he couldn't build it. So it was, uh, as he's been a very good boy, we managed to get that. And so that owes us about £16. It's probably worth about £35 with all the, all the bits on it now. And that's it for this week. Uh, we still need one more bit. And goodbye! 325, there is... Two, four, seven of those, Jack. So we are just doing the order for the bulbs. Jack's in here, inputting them into Amazon. Doing a good job, Jack? Yeah. Uh, we've done the rest of these leads. That's all that's left to go on now. A bit bored at home and didn't want to sit in did we so we've come yeah. out to one on a tuesday isn't it yeah tuesday and uh, this one's in barking side there's not many on a tuesday but i can't find any on a monday non-bank holiday so this will be good and then we'll have a look around now well there's a few things we picked up then we actually went to pick up jack a guitar didn't we so you can have some lessons yeah i've got already booked the lessons it's cool so we paid £12 for that, which I think is a really good buy, because with the strap. It was supposed to be 15 actually. And you got it down for 12 didn't you? You yeah. spotted it. Right, and this is what we picked up while we were there. And picked up the these... Way, What's that? It was a bit stupid because there was loads more guitars. There was. There was a lot of guitars. Um, right, so we picked up... These were five... Um, picked up the three of these for £2. I've got to just test these. Um, they're for gin and tonics. They sell for five pounds each. One of these. Um, this doesn't actually list. That was just chucked in. This yeah. sells for nine. Uh, this sells for seven pound ninety nine. Um, this was chucked in with all the buckets we got over here. I'll show you in a sec. We paid one hundred and fifty pounds for these hose locks. Now these sell for sixty nine each. So there's two hundred and ten pounds there. And these sell for fifty nine each. There's one hundred and twenty there. <laughs> so that's good profit. Paid £28 for six tubs of this fish food. They sell for £16 each. Uh, the Aperol Spritz glasses, they were £3 for four. And they sell for £12.99 All each. All these buckets! Uh, Corona buckets, uh, Cronenberg buckets and Strongbow buckets. Got 50 buckets for £40. These sell for £9.50 each on Amazon. And uh, these sell for about £7 each. There's not that many of those, so I'm calling it about... And most of them are Corona, so I'm going to call it £9 average for the 50. Oh, these uh, more speed fits again. Uh, these have been selling consistently for about £14. There's one, two, five, and the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-six, um, twenty-six of those. Dad. We paid £180 for all of this lot here. Uh, so there's 26 of those. These sell for £25 each, and we've got 10 of those. Uh, we'll break these up into fours. They sell for £10 for four. We've got three packs there. So um, that's 30 pieces in there. Uh, the elbows only sell for £5 each. There's five per pack. So it should be uh, £50 there. And then these T junctions here sell for uh, £20, and these are about £14 each. And then the lights are £23 each for these smart lights and we've got uh, all of that for £180. And the Bulldog. Uh, Bulldog we already owned, didn't we, bought that auction? Yeah. And these were £20 for 28 of these Jameson glasses and they sell for £9.85 each on Amazon. So that was it. Um, I'm not sure what the total is on that, but um, we spent every penny we had. We could have bought more stuff, but didn't have enough cash. Poppy hates that Bulldog. She hates that Bulldog. She That's hates. it. She 
just picked up 48 uh, iron holders by Minky. So we're gonna try and see if we can get those listed when we get back. This is what we picked up today on a Wednesday car boot sale. Spent about just over an hour there picking up this lot up. So bag of, this is like a plastic tape. So it's like masking tape, but you can leave it on for 28 days and it won't stick too badly. That whole bag was a five. It's probably about 30 pounds worth in there. Um, bought three boxes of these rubber gloves for 60 pounds. There's, um, there's 30 packs in there and I think there'll be at least 12 pounds each. But this is my guy I bought today and I bought that one. So we bought this big guy for £8, didn't we? It was supposed and, to be a tenner actually. And you got it down to eight, didn't you? Yeah. So what are you going to do to get the money for that one? I'm going to sell that giant T-Rex. So he's going to sell a giant T-Rex we bought before. Uh, we paid a fiver for these um, gin and Prosecco kits. They and sell for £8 each. Uh, they are nine of those. If you want that T-Rex, it's 30 you want, you want to sell it for 30. And yeah. um, bought 48 of these for £1.50 each, and they sell for £13.50. They're ironing holders, oh, iron oh, holders. Mine, oh, so paid £5 pounds for the four of those, which was good. Um, so this one's probably worth 15 on its own. Yeah. Um, these the were three for a tenner. The bullets are worth more. On they are. One. They're more money. These and are £22.50 each. They, sell, they were a tenner for the three. Um, these were ten pounds each. They they sell for twenty four. Bought these again nine pounds each. They sell for twenty one. These are fifty p each. Got nine of these, and they sell for four pound eighty. All of these. This was two pounds. That sells for seven. This was three pounds. That sells for eight. That was fifteen pounds. That sells for thirty. Uh, these were six pounds. They sell for twenty, and this was four pounds for these. Uh, four pounds each for these two, and they sell for twenty one. And these were four pounds each. Got five of those. They sell for sixteen pounds fifty. A uh, couple more nerfs. One day we'll start selling these, won't we, Jack? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. start selling them on about twenty. <laughs> <laughs> they were eight Not pounds for the both of them. I think all of these things, if you sell them on eBay, they they're yeah. normally double what we're paying for them. Yeah. Um, these speed. Uh, speedo caps they were one pound fifty for the two they sell for seven pounds fifty each and we paid fourteen pounds for fourteen of these uh, spin locks and they sell for six pound fifty each and that's for sale for thirty pounds for Jacko we'll stick down eBay that's it for today This is day four of the week and car boot sale five of the week. Jack's not here, so I'm just going to run through the totals. We spent £985 and there is in total £3,550 worth of goods here. All various stuff, stuff we normally bought before. Some cool gloves here, gardening gloves. They were £3 each, sell for £17.99 each. And um, a real mix of stuff, some more of the gin glasses over there. So um, hopefully it's added to the total. Let's see if we can total it all up now. This week we've been to five car boot sales. So we purchased a five. We've um, we've done the challenge by the looks of it. So just rough numbers. <coughs> It'll be totaled up on the screen. But we've spent three thousand one hundred pounds, and I believe we've got um, fifteen thousand pounds worth of stock in, which is an incredible number. And I think after fees, it's going to be just under nine thousand pounds in profit, all from one week. Um, just buying random stuff and it shows that this thing can be really scaled um, it's going to be a bit of an accounting nightmare trying to work it all out but it's uh, not taking that much time to purchase it it's maybe over the five probably about seven or eight hours of actually buying um, another five to six hours of listing as well so it's been great return on time for anyone and um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Also this week we've had um, some more sales of the jewellery come in. Uh, we've sold around £6,000 worth via auction. So that's going to add to the total as well. And um, really going to push on now. And we've got around 9000 in the pot for, um, I think, uh, for the house purchase as well, which is great. So keep watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And um, we've recently hit over a thousand subscribers. I'm so really happy with that. Thank you all for subscribing and following us. And uh, makes Jack very happy when we get a subscriber, doesn't it? Yeah. 
And um, yeah, so on to the next one next week. Hopefully we'll be showing you around the house and that's due to complete next week. So have a good one, guys. And uh, we're still waiting for one more person to um, video for to see how their case study has been for this year. So if you're inspired by this channel and inspired by this challenge and you've gone on and sold some goods and made some money, then please uh, put a comment in the box below to show um, interest that you want to be filmed so we can film the third case study. We've already got two people already, so that'd and be great. we've just hit 1,000 subscribers. 1,000, that's right. Yeah. You're excited about that, aren't you? Yes. So have a good one, guys. We'll catch you next week.